We absolutely love a good pub stop. And in this video, we look at how much it costs to stay in a car park like this and compare it to a campsite like this. Hello and welcome back to the channel. You might notice we're in the car. We were supposed to be away in the van tonight doing a pub stop. And there's a reason why we're not. Yeah, so we were gonna go to a pub stop over with a couple of other YouTubers and unfortunately, the van had a puncture. So yeah, we've still gone, but we're not staying overnight. We've just been for a nice walk around the field. It was really nice, because they've got a dog as well. We're gonna go in the pub in a minute and I'll introduce you to them and you can see who we've met up with. Right, so we're in the pub. I will reveal to you which YouTubers we are having dinner with tonight. Who are you guys? Hiya, we're Adventures with Angela and Wayne. And this is Wayne. This is Wayne. This is Angela. <laughs> <laughs> and we're out with the Doolittles. Fantastic. So yeah, check them out. Give them a try on YouTube. They don't just do things in their van. They also go away further afield. So yeah, check them out. So we're now back in the van and we're going to do the vlog for you that we set out to do. We are indeed, and Halfords have come and fixed the tyre, so that's all sorted. Yay! Also, I need to apologise for my voice. Um, I went to see Luton Watford yesterday, and uh, Luton won, so uh, hence the voice. Yeah, he's been shouting and swearing and singing and... Oh, I did not swear. So anyway, moving back to the video, we've had a lot of people say online that they don't see that there's value in staying at a pub stop, and they say that um, they feel that a campsite is better value. Mm -hmm. Now I think a lot of value depends on what you need from that experience. So with a campsite, you obviously get like your um, showers, don't you? Your electric, yeah, things like all your that. Yeah, facilities, yeah. But we don't need that. No. So for us, we're paying for facilities that we don't necessarily need. So obviously you saw last night, we ate at a pub that we were going to be staying at. We had to just go for the evening in the car because we didn't have the van. But I'll tell you how much that cost us for the meal, or Claire will. And obviously that's how much it would have essentially cost us to stay in that pub. How much was it, Claire? So the meal for two of us was £31. Yeah, so the overall bill was £62 for four people. So what I've done is I've just split yeah. that yeah. straight down the middle. And that's about what we would normally pay. So I would say anything between 30 to 38 pounds is what we would normally pay for a meal in a pub. Mm. Sometimes we might have a pudding, so it might push it up. And sometimes we have drinks and stuff, yeah. but we didn't include drinks because that's not what this vlog is about. No. So, interestingly, you say 31 pounds, we've just booked a campsite for the next time that we go and stay mm -hmm. with Angela and Wayne. Yep. Two nights for 62 pounds. Mm -hmm. So at the moment, a campsite is exactly the same price as a pub stop. Now I can hear a lot of you saying, yeah, but the pub stop doesn't have electric hookup, but we don't need that. Mm -hmm. So for us, it's much of a muchness. But then when you start factoring other things in, such as food and drink, so I've added some alcohol to the pub side of things, and I've also looked at how much we would spend if we bought that alcohol from Tesco. So I've taken an average of £5.50 a pint because you like a cider, don't you? Yeah, I like a cider. I like a cider or a bitter, so about £5.50. So that's £11. So if you add £11 to the £31 that we spent on food, that brings you a grand total of £42, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, so that's where we're at. Now in terms of the shopping, I'm going to get Claire to run through what we would normally buy in order to have food. Because bear in mind that on the pub stop, we've already got our food included. So if we were going on the campsite... We'd have to buy food. Or we'd have to eat out, in yeah. which case it'd on cost top, the same as staying at a pub of, anyway. Yeah, on top of the campsite fee. Okay, so Claire's going to run through the shopping list of what we would traditionally buy when we go away in the van to cook for ourselves. And eat, eat in the van. Yeah. Yeah, so we would get a bag of smiles, McCain potato smiles. For because I'm a pound, child. £2.50, yes. Uh, chicken goujons at £4.15. Some Mexicana cheese at £2.95. Ciders for £6 for three. Uh, bag of tortilla wraps, £1.20, 
So that comes to about £16.30. So if you take £16.30 and add that to the £31 a night that we will be paying for the campsite, that gives a grand total of... £47.30. So that's £47.30 for campsite plus food, whereas the pub for food and the stay, that was £31 plus the £11 for the drink takes you to 42. Mm -hmm. So essentially how we work it out is a campsite would cost us 47, uh, sorry, it cost us um, £5.30 more for a campsite. Now a lot of people will say, yeah, but you get your shower block, you get your electric, but we don't need that. Mm -hmm. So therefore, for us... Yeah, and when it's just for one night, like you say, we don't need that. If it was for more than one night, then yes, we might book a campsite. But for one night, it's, yeah, it's irrelevant. Yeah. So we see that as better value. Yeah. So I guess that for us is a bit of a breakdown of why we do pub stops and what we get out of it. Um, but yeah, we like it because we can socialise as well. Mm -hmm. So especially in the winter, we'll meet people like Angela and Wayne and we've not got to worry about sitting outside our vans or something like that because we've got a nice dry place to go and sit. Yeah. So yeah, last night we did a pub stop. Just a couple of things that we've been doing recently as well. So we were supposed to be going away last week, weren't we? Yes. And unfortunately we didn't. Why didn't we go away? Because Tessie was very poorly. She's still a little bit poorly. It's, it's sickness. She's got some sickness and it's come back. She's got some tummy problems. So we're hoping that she's going to be okay now. But yeah, yeah it's been a bit, bit worrying time. So we couldn't actually get away because it's not ideal to be in a van with a sick dog. No, so we've had to tweak her diet a little mm. bit and we've had to feed her smaller meals, but more frequently. And we've also had to put her on some special food from the vets. We kept thinking she was getting better and then we go three days without her being sick and then she'd be sick all of a sudden. Yeah. But we think, we think fingers right crossed, now, yeah, we're, we're where we need to be. But yeah, we were going to do a pub stop with Rich BBs, yeah. weren't we? So sorry about that, guys, but we will definitely arrange another another meetup at some point. So we don't have much luck with pub stops recently, but we have had some lovely ones in the past, haven't we? Yeah. And then just the other thing that we're doing as well, so some of you guys might know, some of you might not, we did get involved with Caravan Radio way back in the beginning and we were just doing little sketches, but now we've got a full-on show, haven't we? Claire? Yeah, we've got an hour hour long show on Sundays, haven't Sundays. We? Now tell people what time it is if they want to listen. It's on at 7 p.m. on a Sunday night. 7 p.m. It's Caravan Radio, so it's online only, mm -hmm. but it's so easy to get hold of because there are a lot of ways you can do it. So if you go onto the website, caravanradio.co.uk, it will tell you the ways you can do it. So there are various apps you can also download the caravan radio app mm -hmm. you can stream it straight from the website or if you've got alexa you can use alexa yeah. so there's so many different ways so catch us there anyway from us this week it's do little's done <laughs>